guys welcome back to my channel my name is Regan if you're new here and the name of my channel is Indie Boo okay so I've been talking about doing this fit glow full face review for a while now and usually I'll do like a full face and then I'll do a review I'm trying to make my videos a little bit I'm trying to just make less videos if that like not cut down on the quality or even the quantity of the content. I'm just trying to include more in a video because yeah, YouTube and social media have been taking up way, way, way too much of my time. I kind of want my life back in a lot of ways. So yeah, um, I love doing this and I never want to stop because I think it's important to have like unbiased voices out there who are paying for product themselves and receiving product and like yeah just having like unbiased reviews but yeah let's just talk about fit glow a little bit um I, this is a long video so i will have time markers for the product so if you're really curious about something this is in collaboration with my friend jamie over at five product face so head over to her channel and subscribe and check out her video i'm very curious to see the thing is when you do a collab you kind of just decide on a topic and then you do it so i'm excited to see her video and what she has to say about these products because yeah, as I'm just interested to see what a woman of color has to say of these products because they're I what I can tell they're not really designed for women of color. And I talk about that a little bit in the foundation where their shade range isn't very good. I think their base makeup, I'll just give a little spoiler. I don't like Fit Glow's base makeup. I think that their color cosmetics like their lip, their eye and their blushes are amazing, but everything else I'm just kind of like like not so inclusive the colors like even for me the foundation is a bit too dark so yeah and I just feel like it's not the most inclusive range out there I know it's a newer range so I'm sure I hope they add you know foundations but we'll see I also want to mention this is an in collaboration with Kat but I do want to talk about her video I'll link both Jamie and Kat's video below of their fit glow reviews because I just think it's interesting these are expensive brands before you buy it and I understand a lot of people have to buy it online watch a couple of reviews really that's what I do before I buy stuff as I watch a few different people's reviews and these are people Jamie and Kat who I really and I, there are a lot of other youtubers I trust trust me especially within our kind of community anyways let's roll into this video and yeah let's talk about some fit glow alrighty guys so we're going to start out with the it's the fit glow beauty foundation and this is in vf1 so I have tested this and this is just the sample size and I do highly recommend if you can't match yourself or have someone match you maybe from the company to get a sample size just to see what shade you are. A lot of times, especially with these smaller brands, you can't return the item. So this is like a $50 foundation and I wouldn't want anyone to be out $50. Even if you have to pay $2 for the sample, it's just, it's worth it. So I'm going to be using just this little dollop. The thing is, is I know I might not be getting the ac most accurate interpretation of the foundation because it's not coming from the air tight pump, but I feel like I'm getting a correct color sample if that makes sense and just from this sample that i've gotten i'll say i wouldn't repurchase the foundation because it's too dark for me and i've just gotten to a point and i watched kat's video and she said like she feels like pale girls have um a special like talent for blending makeup into their skin even when it's too dark for them and i totally agree but I just don't want to have to do that. I'm not going to get the full size. Just there's other foundations that match me a bit better. So yeah, this one I just think is a little bit too dark. But I wanted to show you all that just so you can see. And I got this for this video and tried it for this video. So yeah. Okay guys, so I haven't actually tried to build up the coverage in this foundation. So we're just going to try that now. To see how this works because I haven't tried it yet. I honestly was just afraid that the sample would run out so I wanted to film before I tried anything like this. So it's so moussey like it's just very moussey and I'm not sure sometimes I'm not sure if that's actual consistency. I feel like there are better reviews out there of this foundation but again I want to try it and I did want to tell people who are pale like myself that it's not for us really like there's just I just think there's better shades out there. This just this gets a little bit patchy. Just 
just gets a little bit patchy if you try and build it up, but it's okay, happens. <laughs> Not okay really, but whatever. Just don't try and build it up, guys. I feel like it just is, I'm gonna get a sponge. I feel like the patchiness might be from the brush more than it is from the makeup, so yeah. I do have those like lines in my nose from this and I just feel like this foundation is more of a yellow undertone. So that's one of the main reasons that it just, it makes me look a little ill, I think personally. So yeah, I will not be repurchasing this one. Okay, now we're gonna talk about like their concealer. So I know that they have a couple. So I got their Conceal One and I think they have Conceal Two. And then they also have Eye Bright, which is for under your eyes. I didn't want to get the whole range of concealers and stuff. The thing is, they're not based off of skin tone. They're more based off of, they're based off of skin tone because they're basically for like medium to light skin tones, but they're more color correctors. And I don't know, I'm just not that big a fan, honestly, of Fit Glow's base makeup. So yeah, but if you can see, it's just pretty like, it's yellow and it's I, one thing I don't like, I don't like these sphere packages. Like I think a lot of companies think they're being really cool and trendy doing these sphere packages. No, like I need something flat that stacks. It's just, I don't know. Like I don't like when the people like, I just don't like when they think like, oh, you know, this is gonna be way better. It's a lot more innovative. It's like, no, it really isn't. And it really just takes up a lot of excess space in my makeup drawer because I don't have one of those huge ones. I have like a very small makeup table and I, yeah, I just don't appreciate the sphere. Like I either need a tube, a squirty thing or something flat. Okay, so I did use this as an eye primer too. And I'm going to try and cover some blemishes with this just to see how it goes because I have one right here that needs to go bye bye. And then I have, I just have them on this side of my face. Um, one down here. Okay, guys, so it's kind of hot, same thing how I feel about the concealer. It's just, I just think there's better stuff out there that's like more functional for me personally. I'm not that upset I purchased it. I just feel like they're, you know, when there's something better for you, you're just kind of like, you know. Okay, so now I'm going to set everything. And if I'm not using something Fit Glow, I'll have it down below. Just for time's sake, a lot of this stuff I've already reviewed, so I don't need to talk. I'm using the 14E powder, but yeah, I'll have everything else listed down below just if you're curious what I used in other places. Okay, guys, while we were at that, I did do my brows too. Fit Glow doesn't have a brow product, so yeah. Um, all right, now we're just going to go into blush. So I'm going to be using their quartz blush. Now I've used this quite a bit. I really like this blush. I think one of their strong suits is their color cosmetics. Um, just the powder, like it is pretty small. Let's be real now, guys. Like every time I watch like a Stephanie Nicole videos, like I get the purpose of it, but whenever she always talks about the weight and grams and stuff, and I get it on a professional level, you have to think in those terms. But for kind of a consumer level that we're at here on YouTube, as long as something doesn't seem too funky, you know what I'm saying? Like if I get something and it's like the second I use it, I've hit pan, that's funky. This is a decent size, haven't hit pan on it, used about eight times, which is quite a bit for me, honestly, because I have so much makeup. Um, but I really have liked this. It's like this nice baby pink. And I'm just using this Sigma brush I got at Christmas time. Just really pretty. Like it's really baby pink color, but some of these colors, I'll be honest, might not go together as well. Like this whole look will be nice, but it might not be the look if I could have tried everything out first. I did order everything online and I might have gone for something different had I been able to play with it all first. But yeah, these are just kind of the colors that I did get. So that's what we're working with. Okay. And then for highlight, I didn't want to buy their Lumi Firm highlight. Honestly, guys, 
they were trying to say how it has like peptides in it and stuff and like if you need a cream highlight it might be worth it to check out i don't think the price point's like crazy ridiculous like some of their things but i don't know i just feel like whenever they're trying to sell like the skincare part of it and it's like okay but by the time you're putting on highlight you probably like i have like three layers of stuff on by now there's probably not going to be a lot of skincare benefits that i'm receiving Okay, this is another product that I really like that Fit Glow does. And they're their eyeshadow trios. I know that they have duos as well. I would be interested in picking some more of these up, honestly, either the trios or the duos, because I have been really impressed. I'm trying to open this. One sec, I don't have my acrylics anymore. Okay, there we go. I have been really impressed with the pigmentation. I've also just been super impressed with, I thought it was like odd how their trios and how they're all kind of connected, but they don't blend into one another. And I'm also really impressed that there's not a lot of fallout. These are a pricier item, but I think they're a good item. I wish I would have picked up maybe a little bit something that wasn't so dark and I would have picked up something a little lighter, but say la vie, such as life, like these are what I got. So yeah, I think I'm just going to, because I'm trying to go for kind of a lighter look today because it's more summery outside. So I'm going to be taking this shimmery shade. That's like, it's kind of this like, camel taupey colored shimmery shade just in the front I'm not doing a whole eye look I've used this a few times for various eye looks I use this in the uh anti-festival makeup look and I really do like this little thing and if you're going for a dark look it's great but just today I want to do this video but I don't want to go for a dark look I'm just not feeling it So if you see just how that pigment transfers and pays off, it's really, it's nice. Like I feel like YouTube videos sometimes don't do these things justice. And I'm just blending the edges of that out with a blending brush just so it's more, more better looking. Like let's use proper grammar on here. And I'm going to take just the silvery color and put it on the inner color, color corner. So this is a little bit lighter of a look. Again, if you want to see that video, I did do a deeper look using this trio. It's really pretty, great for a night out. Just, we are going out to dinner tonight, but we're going to Whole Foods because I really like their ramen. So we're not like going real crazy tonight. Like it's, it's a Wednesday. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit lighter. I like that a lot. Um, Maybe just to create a little bit gonna bring this down yeah that's pretty I just want something super light guys like I'm just not feeling it today like just not happens sometimes but I am actually going to use the deeper shade just kind of as an eyeliner I'm gonna get a I'm gonna use a this guy so this is a Sigma brush I love this brush it's a bent liner brush I like Sigma's brushes because I think they're just pretty good quality. I do like the Cosmetics brushes too. I haven't tried every single brush brand. I like Eco Tools. There's a lot of stuff. Anyways, it's pretty. Okay, I like that. So this trio is pretty versatile. So appreciate it. Like really appreciate it. Okay, now we're going to talk about the mascara. So first impression of this, I did really like it. Um, it did build my lashes up a ton and make them look like I was wearing falsies and it was a great deal. Here's the deal. I have their original Good Lash Mascara and I loved this, guys. Like, I really, really love this. So I got this when I was in Toronto and then they come out with this new mascara and get rid of, well, that's what they did. They got rid of it. <laughs> that just honestly flipped out of my hand. So that one went bye-bye. Well, then they released this one. This one I think is, I can't remember which one because I have the lip gloss too. One of them is 38 and one of them is 41. Anyways, this is about a $40 mascara. That's so pricey for a mascara, guys. And here's the deal. So I get it because they improved the packaging. Like, oh, let me get that one. <clears throat> the packaging on the old one is just like any generic mascara tube that you can get off of Etsy or Amazon or whatever, like that they just put the Fit Glow sticker on. So I get redoing the packaging because now it's like this stainless steel and it just looks really nice. It's like painted on there. It's really, it's pretty. 
The thing is $38, this one was 25, I think. Like I paid, I paid 18 US dollars for it because I was at the store in Canada that was doing 20% off of Fit Glow. And if you, with the exchange rate and everything, it was about $18. So I get it. I get that it's like a $25 mascara, but this one's 38 now and I just don't like it that much. Like we're gonna put it on now. The first impression of it, it was really inky. Now it's just kind of dried out and it's about at the end of its life, but it dried out like after a month. So I don't know. I don't love the pine cone shaped brush. I just don't. Just not my, my cup of tea personally. Um, my eyes aren't that big so I can actually even use it. So yeah. It, I just don't love this. I think there's better things out there for a better price. Like, and if you're looking for, uh, one thing I think that I found that's kind of like similar to the old Good Lash is the Hint Mascara, their Nocturne. Um, I haven't really talked about it yet, but I have been using that and I do like it. So I just feel like this one, and that one's like $25, I think. This one, I don't know. I'm starting to kind of set limits on myself for price point. I almost think $30 is going to be my mascara limit where 30 is pretty expensive still. But if I really do want to like treat myself kind of thing, I can get a $30 mascara. But this one, just a bit too much. And it takes me a while because it's dry. So I'm having to like really get in there. I just want you guys to see the difference. So this one's without it, this one's with it. Again, my first impressions of it were actually pretty okay, but now it just, it isn't worth it. It's dried down too much. It's taken me too long to kind of build up this pigment. And honestly, for paying this much for a mascara, by the three month mark, it shouldn't be dried out. And like, this is about, it's about time for it to go, but still it shouldn't, it should be pretty dang similar to when I opened it. Okay, so I did line my lips because you do need to for this lipstick. So one thing about the lipstick, it has this cool packaging, somewhat similar to the Axiology lipsticks. Um, yeah, except it's silver and has this thick little flower on it. Pull it out, there it is, pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to apply this and talk about it. And then I'm actually going to take it off because like I said, I'm going for a light look and I wanna use the lip serum. So. Okay, I think this is almost too creamy. Like it feels really nice on the lips, but it bleeds. So you definitely need a lip liner with it. I always just like to use like a lip liner that's similar to my lip color. So that's what I did. So I do like this. Um, just like I said, I think that it is kind of hard to keep within the lines if you don't have a lip liner on. So yeah, it bleeds out a little bit. I might purchase some more of these. I wish maybe I didn't get the most vibrant color. This is in the shave, shave, shade love. Um, and I am going to remove this now because I wanna use the lip serum. Okay guys, so I'm using the Fit Glow Lip Serum and Go. I love this. I've talked about it in a ton of videos and I will say my final conclusion, I use this all the time. It's like a $40 lip gloss, but I love it. I would repurchase it. Um, I think it's expensive as heck, but at the same time, if I use it so much, it's kind of like I've paid a lot more for some other things that I use like once and then like forget about. So this is like something I've been using on the reg. I mean like almost every night and every day, so. This is one that I just think the formulation, so good. And honestly, there's nothing comparable like this out there that I'm like, oh, there's a dupe. No, there's no dupe for this. It's just a good product. It's worth it. It is one that I've enjoyed. Okay guys, so I just kind of want to do a wrap up of the things that I would recommend. Okay, so lipstick is kind of it's kind of an in-between product for me. Like I there are tons of lipsticks out there, so it's just kind of if you really like this one, it's I can see it. I really can because it's super moisturizing. But at the same time, for like 40 bucks, it's like I can also get like a Kosas one, so whatever. But the lip serum, yes, highly, highly you like super recommend it. It's expensive, but worth it. That's just that's what I gotta say about that. And then I really do like their color cosmetics that I've talked about. I like their eyeshadow and I like their blush. I think that it has really good pigmentation. Um, I would repurchase 
some more of these kind of things in the future because I just think that their formulation is really good. Super pigmented, not a ton of fallout, really blends really well and easy. Like I think the products are easy to use and that can be kind of hard because sometimes I've had eyeshadows that can be kind of patchy and dry. So those ones definitely are not. So guys, head over to Jamie's channel, show her some love. I'm really excited to see what she has to say about everything. And let me know what you think about my video down below. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.